Today we're going to make a kite, just like this one here that we made earlier. First you need to turn over your kite so that the shiny side is facing the table. I think it's the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> can get some tape ready like this, just a little bit, about the size of Mr. Prendergast's finger. And the loop goes here, the end of your triangle part. I think Mrs. Howard would give us lots of points for cooperation <laughs> and collaboration. Okay, then you take the double-sided sticky tape and from this corner here, and you hold it there, Louis, please. You go all the way to, yep. The ribbon. Yeah, the, ribbon. About the middle of the ribbon. Once it's stuck, you are allowed to peel the other side of the tape. Okay. Okay. So peeling. Okay, and you fold it over in half, corner to corner. Being careful not to stick it prematurely. Lots of big words in this one, isn't there? And again, notice how we're working together to make sure it's stuck perfectly well. Okay. Yeah. Open it up and show us how you stuck it together. So it's stuck together like that, so that when you fly your kite, you can be held from that point there. Okay, there's a few steps to go first. Okay, next step is one of you needs to hold the kite while the other gets the cover tape ready. And you can put some tape over this corner here. Okay, so I open up the kite, so it's a new corner that you've created. Just a little bit like that. When that's done, you just get the, your hole punch uh, mechanism and punch a hole. You may need oh. your teacher to help this one. Yeah, where the sellotape yeah, is. Yes, where you just put sellotape. Because that stops the kite from ripping apart. And then you need a similar size um, piece of sellotape, which you'll put on top of the straw, but you don't stick it to the table, just put it on top of the straw. You just make sure that the straw is in the middle of the sellotape so that the tape can stick down on both sides. Okay, that's that. Okay, so notice how we've now turned the uh, kite round so that uh, it's back on its shiny side. Okay, I'm going to stick the straw from, from this corner to this corner 
of the diamond cut. Again, you will need your pawn as help for this because it's quite tricky to get exactly from one corner to the other. Yeah? Cool, yeah. Okay, the, t the straw doesn't go from all the way from one end to the other, so you need to so you make sure it's in the middle. There'll be a little bit of free kite at either end. Okay. And now the last step. We take the string, and that will go through the hole that you've recently made, your hole puncher, and you tie a knot. Double knot it just to make sure it's not gonna get undone. And woohoo! I give pipe. yourself a round of applause. God! I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> I don't know how to stop it.